So welcome to BSL Season 15 Hasu League. We got Bomb Bomb going up against Jojo, and this is Group D starting off on Butter. And LML, who does a lot of the organization for Hasu League and actually the other leagues in the background, has been calling this the cursed season because of a lot of the lack of replays that people have been uploading. This is a JoJo reference, by the way. We got JoJo. Should list the colors. Bottom right hand corner, JoJo starting as the yellow Zerg. Upper right hand corner, Bonbon starting as the pink Protoss. From Demented Minds and Ash equivalently. To, or sorry, Disturbed Minds, the clan, I believe. Um, and Ash starts getting into Latin, I think, so I don't think I'll list their full names because I can't remember it off the top of my head. Check them out in the clan leagues. Anyway, replays are missing. The format is a little bit different, so I believe it is best of one in the first match and the winner's match. So you have two sets that are best of one, and then the loser's match and the final match are best of three. But a bunch of replays are missing, which has made figuring out who's managed what a little bit challenging. Spawning pool and extractor. Also, we were seeing players, I, I believe, we've been seeing a new stream of players, and just because of the shift in the continental, it's kind of, and I don't know what it is where players have wanted to try this season of BSL, where it's been a decent quality of players, but players that haven't really participated in the tournament previously have been more just sticking, more ladder players or clan league players. And for whatever reason, they've opted to play this season of BSL, and it seems like it's maybe their first time running through, and so scheduling conflicts have abounded. So I'm not sure if that's growing pains from BSL, if it's a, an artifact of the adjustment. I like Bomb Bomb checking the corners just to make sure there wasn't a proxy hash or anything crazy like that. He's opening up Forge first into cannon. It looks like we do have a stream of Zerglings being built off a nine pool, by the way, or maybe this is over pool. Looks like Zergling speed being researched and all drones off gas, which suggests this could be an immediate follow-up into double hatch replay. We'll see. But anyway, point being this season, it's going to be a, because of just sheer lack of replays, it's going to be extreme acceleration into the round of eight. And I hope to have more replays there. There's, wow, the drone doing a good job of blockading one of the Zerglings. Second cannon, two cannons, going to be all along the lines <clears throat> of finish. Overlord spots it. However, that probe immediately wiped out and it looks like it is going to be nothing but zerglings and an all-in from there from jojo so let's see if bonbon can sneak a probe out to go ahead and scout this second hatchery being plopped down so jojo just wants to go all in zerglings as far as the follow-up he is no longer committed any gas Zergling speed online, and yeah, he's continuing to produce Zerglings out in the field. Gateway in the way. Yeah, and this is now running forward. Gets an initial surround on the first Photon Cannon. However, the second Photon Cannon is going to stand, and all the Zerglings weren't sent. So Cannon going to get rebuilt. Now Probe's blockading the way. More Zerglings making the way, and now JoJo's in trouble. He needs to do it on a second attempt. But this time, JoJo, I assume, is going to be much, much more diligent. So Zerglings trying to press through that right corner. Probe engaging from there. Zerglings able to sneak through into the main, however. Four Zerglings versus the Probe line. So JoJo at least able to apply some pressure. A Zealot marching its way across. Zerglings... Tapping away at the Nexus, trying to get what they can. It looks like they don't want to engage the probes wholesale. A cannon being dropped in the line. Zealot actually not engaging, so Zergling's going to get some bonus off of that. More Zergling's being produced along that wing. No additional mining from Jojo, and he's floating an immense amount of minerals, partially because he's probably microing these Zerglings inside Bomb Bomb's main. Trying to work on that cannon, able to get force a cancellation right there. So a lot of frustration. Now a Zealot marching its way across. Towards Jojo's main. Looks like it might hit a pair of Zerglings on its way across. One of the probes down. This Zealot's still somehow alive. Sorry, never mind. One of the 
The Zerglings have taken damage, but they've managed to get a, a few additional pro kills. Bonbon staying pretty well on top of his micro. Transferring probes to his natural expansion since she has cannons defensively there. Wise maneuver. Kind of mitigate potential losses, but still a huge mineral float. The drones are no longer mining at the natural. And a zealot marching in. No defenses here currently. No mining. So Jojo not doing the best micromanaging. And with that distraction, the Zerglings focus firing the Nexus and getting wiped out. The zealot able to just... I gotta admit, this is... Pretty disastrous play for Jojo. The Zerglings pressing in. Gets taken out. Some nice drone drilling right there. But right now, Jojo economically way behind. And might need to worry about... Needs to get a move on, honestly, just to get some anti-air up and running. Third hatchery inside JoJo's base. Fourth hatchery inside JoJo's base. And still no movement to grab any gas. So he wants to get four hatcheries up. Maybe this is just... I think this is a... I have too many, maneuver, uh, too many minerals. My zergling maneuvering did not work out. So let me just plop down some hatcheries. Still no gas mining. Which means once this first Corsair is out, as long as Bomb Bomb can hold, he should be in a good position to win the game. This is still all in Zergling. More Zerglings being produced, a preventative creep colony to prevent the counterattack, but Zealots are taking the field. There's still two cannons on the front, plus one weapons is on the way, and additional gateways. Also being added, as well as the Citadel of Dune. But honestly, it's that first Corsair plus one weapons also being upgraded. Once that first Corsair is out, I have concerns of Jojo's ability to defend because he still has refused to mine gas. Six hatchery, six hatchery, or sorry, fifth hatchery, and an evolution chamber. Potentially to go anti-air. So I guess he just wants to do it with pure Zergling. Maybe he'll, he's almost playing this like a ZVZ. Unusual play. I'm just going to say it. it. feels kind of like uh, more of a Triple League game at this stage of things. Second Creek Colony dropped. Maybe if he gets some spores up, he'll be in a better defensive position. But right now, it is 40 workers to 15. Two gateways up to produce additional zealots. And a first Corsair is out on the field. Yeah, one Spore Colony, I think that was to defend against Spore Dark Templar than anything else. At least that'll give some latent anti-air to help defend against the Corsairs. So these two Overlords might be safe, but I don't know how long that's going to last. Because plus one weapons is whirling up and more Corsairs are taking the field. And at a certain point, you can just ignore the Spore Colony damage and punch through and take out Overlords. However, in the meantime, a flood of Zerglings are floating out on the map. However, numerous zealots are taking the field to potentially deal with that. Able to sneak past Corsairs. So this is gonna be a big test of Bon Bon's defensive capabilities. If he is able to defend here, he will win the game. Pro meandering out to maybe grab a fourth. A lot of zealots behind this. They do have plus one weapons as well. Zerglings trying to flood through and run by. The Zealots engaging, and the Zerglings, after seeing all of these Zealots backing off. One Corsair has been taken out. Do we have any more gas mining? No, it is just a flood of drones out of all of these hatcheries, maybe to try to catch up economically. The Zerglings maneuvering back up once again, kind of spreading out. They might be able to find this third base, waiting for... And Jojo calling GG. <laughs> An unusual one to start it off. Bomb Bomb taking the first set to move on to the winner's match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.